very slowly. This one here, close to us. Yeah, they do. They move. They, mm -hmm. they move out of that. She, you know, she, I mean, she, if she had the time and she could stick to it, she could. Yeah, she could do some very, very good yeah. stuff. But you know, this place is made for people like her, and so mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. only get these chances so seldom. Even Nancy is, well, no, she has only been here twice. Wow. You know? It's, yeah. So it's a kind of, they all, it's a great thing to be able to do this. It's so beautiful, too, because the you, it's like the reflection, the reflection on the pond of the trees yeah. is just fantastic. Because that's also part of what makes oh, it so absolutely. beautiful. What I like about it is it, it kind of, it's kind of almost camouflage. You come out yeah. and then you see it. Yeah, yeah. Which I like. When we were in, Tok uh, in Japan and we went to some of the shrines in Kyoto, there's one, I think it was the Golden Palace, mm. and it is gold. It's gold. And it sits, you just sort of, the park opens up and there's this huge pond, and on the other side of the pond is this golden pagoda. And everything is, it's like the reflection of the gold and the water and the, and of course the water is all a water garden too. Yeah. And then there are gardens all around, it. it's, but it's all Japanese and it's just so mind boggling. So the Japanese are the people that really have done the most from historically to connect nature. Nature and, to art. And every, you know, nature and art are the one that they get together with. Well, they were the, the pottery and stuff. Oh, I'm going to just cut, cut in front of this. Yeah. 